I was reading a book by, you've heard, of, I'm sure, of Neil deGrasse Tyson, a great, wonderful, amazing physicist. And um, he has a book out, maybe you've seen it, called Astrophysics for People in a Hurry. <laughs> and it, that's kind of a cute title, but it's not, it's, a, you know, it's not watered down at all. It, it's really quite you know, powerful and amazing. And, and so as I was reading this, he talks about uh, the beginning of the universe. I'm as if he knows, but you know, okay. But we're all just guessing. So, but his guess, which is so powerful, is that from whatever they know from science and knowledge, they propose or postulate that in the very first seconds of the universe, matter and antimatter were eating each other. And, you know, it really wasn't clear if there would be a universe. And in, a, in one particular second, there were a billion and one photons, which were matter, positive energy, and a billion hadrons, which were negative. So just one more, and the universe came into existence. And he talks about how if the Earth had settled in its orbit a little closer to the sun, all the oceans would have evaporated and there'd be no life. And if the earth had settled a little farther from the sun, all the oceans would have frozen and there'd be no life. So it was amazing that just by one smallest gesture, everything came into being. And as I reflected on this, and this is what hit me, is to me, that's not a description of how the universe began. It's an ongoing creation. And this holds for me the purpose of goodness. Every day, it's one gesture of kindness that keeps the universe going. And we don't know what gesture it is. And when you stop to help someone whose groceries fell in the parking lot, that could be the kindness, the one photon that keeps the world going. And this is why every kindness matters. Everyone. So, quick example of this in, uh, of both a photon and a hadron. During the hurricanes, Irma, and those terrible hurricanes that devastated uh, Puerto Rico and the Caribbean and Florida. So within 24 hours, first you have your negative energy, okay? And deliberately doing harm. So we, we might also call this hadron evil. So, we had in St. Martin, the airport was destroyed. People were just hundreds of people were in the harbor trying to leave, get out any way they could. Marriott Hotels sent a cruise ship to rescue their guests. There were hundreds of people. They had 1,800 seats on that cruise ship. They let 350 people on that were only their guests and they left everybody else in the harbor. There's your hadron. Within 24 hours, it's unspeakable. Within 24 hours, flight 431, Delta, left LaGuardia, went to San Juan, Puerto Rico with the help of the San Juan, Miami, and New York air traffic control, landed a plane, just filled it up, opened the doors, let anybody who get, get on there get on. They got about 300 people on board, crammed in, and within 20 minutes, they refueled, loaded those people, and literally, they had a window. They went out through the eye of the hurricane and saved 300 people. There's your photon. And the universe continued. So I would offer to never doubt the importance of one act of kindness.